So help you God. I do. Weapons that have, in my view, no place in hunting or sport, and whose only function, only real function, is to kill human beings uh, at a ferocious pace. We're going to judge people by whether they have Indian blood, whether they're qualified to run a gaming casino or not. I will tell you right now, uh, they don't look like Indians to me. Thank God that's not the test of whether or not people have rights in this country or not, whether or not they pass your look test. The passing the Violence Against Women Act will take an important step toward ending the cycle of terror and violence which marks the lives of so many American women. I don't want to sound too much like a chauvinist, but when I come home and dinner's not ready, I go through the roof. The United States of America is unique in the history of humankind, and its survival has been guaranteed not by its innocence, by its character and its resilience. 40 Wall Street actually was the second tallest building in downtown Manhattan, and, and it was actually before the World Trade Center was the tallest. And then when they built the World Trade Center, it became known as the second tallest, and now it's the tallest. Let me say it as simply as I can. Yes, yes, I accept your nomination to run and serve with Barack Obama, the next president of the United States of America. We're very, very happy with what's happened with respect to this building and how fast we put it up. We were on time, we were on budget, and we're just very, very proud of the result. We're going to help people who are down and out with consequences of the economy be able to get through this. Our objective is to create jobs. That's what we've been doing. Uh, number seven. Sell North Dakota to the Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> this is a historic day. Tens of millions of Americans will be a whole lot healthier from this moment on. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Do you favor stopping people on the street? I think, you know, what are you going to do? You have a Mexican-American, and then you'll have a blonde guy walking down the street. Well, Mexico doesn't have a lot of blondes, OK? And what this is all about is a simple proposition. Who do you love? Who do you love? And will you be loyal to the person you love? Obama give you a does on. not like the issue of where he was born. His own publisher, as you know, uh, using his words, said he was born in Kenya and he lived in Indonesia. The president authorized me to head up a White House Cancer Task Force to reimagine the federal government's role in the fight against cancer. It's about injecting the urgency of now into this fight. The judge has been very unfair, has not done a good job. He's been a very bad judge. He's been very unfair. And I'll win the Trump University case. I could settle that case. I could have settled it. I just choose not to. In fact, when I ran, they said, why didn't you settle up that case? I don't want to settle it. Why well, mention that the judge Because is you know what? Because I'm a man of principle. But while I'll be a Democratic candidate, I will be an American president. I'll work hard for those who didn't support me, as hard for them as I did for those who did vote for me. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups? I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm... it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call them? What do you want to call them? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists Go ahead. and white supremacists. Would you like me to condemn white proud supremacists boys. and white proud, proud boys? Stand back and stand by.